Hi, Hi nerds. This is Akriti Datta. And Daksha Guruji. And today we're going to be talking about how to study pathology for second year. It is one of the most important yet daunting and interesting subject for a lot of second year medicos. So, to help all you little doctors out there struggling with this subject, today we'll be talking about how we simplify this subject for us and how you can do it too. Firstly, I'll be listing out all the resources that I used to study pathology in second year. Uh, my standard textbook was uh, Robin's Basic Pathology. The second textbook that I used was Ramdas Nayak for uh, exam preparation. The third was Pathoma Videos and the book that has been compiled by Dr. Hussain Sattar. And the last one is Good Notes Five. So I'm going to be giving you a little tour through my notebook for pathology. I hope you guys like it and let's go. To create a notebook on the Good Notes app, you click on New and you create a notebook. You can easily customize your cover like this, and even import images as per your choice. So I like personally this cover for my pathology uh, notebook, and this is what it looks like. My layout of paper has always been horizontal F4 paper, which is black colored and squared. It's just my aesthetic, and it makes my handwriting easy, neat, and so comprehensive to me while revising. Further, I subdivided the topics and chapters into outlines, and each system had an overview like this, wherein I wrote the most frequently asked questions in my university. This made revision at the time of exam so easy I cannot even tell you. So, moving on to the process of how do you study pathology in second year. So, the first part that I would recommend, this is what personally I've done as well, is watching Pathoma videos or any lecture videos in general. So, Pathoma is a series of videos and a book that has been compiled by Dr. Sutter, and it is legit the most comprehensive resource that I've come across for pathology. So, while watching this video, this will be my first attempt to try and understand the topic, what I'm studying. This was a brief and a very superficial look throughout what I'll be studying. I would watch the video in this attempt and not try to write down everything that I'm hearing. So, your main focus while doing this should be on what the video or your lecturer is trying to tell you. This point is format of notes. Now, note making is not just based upon writing everything that you're hearing throughout the lecture or in a video. So while making notes, there are certain tips that you should follow which even I followed that really helped me save time and space. Avoid writing full sentences. Try writing only the important keywords that are characteristic to the topic. Use abbreviations to make your work less tiring. You do not have to write rheumatic, heart disease every time. You just write RHD, move on. Third, my notes always had a heading and they always used to go in an outline so that in the end, finding certain topics becomes really easy for you. Also, uh, when you're writing a heading, make sure that it's color coded for you so that you can find headings, subheadings, and important points very easily. So, the third and the most favorite part of my notes is my color coding, definitely. So, color coding single handedly made organizing everything into good notes so easy. So, I'll just give you an example. I use red color for the fact that I tend to forget easily. So the best part about good notes is that you can change colors so often so that if I'm keep if I'm repeating a mistake, I mark it as red so that next time I know this is something that I have to reinforce and this is something that I have to revise. Blue is usually for the extremely high yield facts that I've seen are repetitively asked not just for my university but for entrance exams as well. And I usually use the yellow highlighter for certain keywords in gross and microscopy. So these are the keywords that I make sure to write down during my exam. Now what most of us tend to do is we tend to remember huge sentences that really disturbs us during exams. However, there are just keywords that you need to know that will help you sail through your exam. Remember one thing, your color coding should make your work easier and not more spread over the place. This is just a guide, you can always create your own color scheme. Another fantastic feature we need to talk about in Good Notes is the fact that you can make your own flashcards in pathology and I'll be showing you how.
So the fourth one is images. And I cannot emphasize this enough that pathology is a highly visual subject. You get asked a lot of images, be it your practical exam or your theory exam MCQs. For example, things ranging from splenic infarct to leomyoma, you get asked a variety of images and it is so essential that you integrate these images into your notes. So for annotating images, I've always used Robin's Basic Pathology as it's the best standard book you can use. I usually screenshot and copy this image into my notes. Fifth is the option to compile. So I've always seen that a lot of my friends usually take handwritten notes during class and are then confused how to annotate or how to compile it with the notes that they take afterwards while reading on their own in the library. So GoodNotes makes this very easy for me also because if I take any notes during the lecture, I can just click a picture and I can scan them directly into my GoodNotes and so this way I really do not have to uh, search for pages, add extra pages, it's just a very easy process. So like most of us, my first acquaintance with pathology was terrifying as it seemed like such a big and impossible subject. But slowly and slowly, you'll learn to fall in love with the subject. You'll start loving to learn the pathways that take place when some foreign pathogen enters inside your body. And you'll also realize that sometimes it's our own cytokines and it's our own antibodies that end up harming us. Like pathology, every medical subject in the beginning feels so daunting and so frightening. But once you make it a friend, once you really start understanding it, it becomes beautiful. And you know what? The real fun begins when you start taking a deep dive into the subject. Once you start really applying the concept you've learned in the book to a point that before the book tells you what the gross and morphology is going to look like, you already have an idea of how your lung will look like if silica enters into it. And this is just a small example of the vast things pathology has to offer. Every medical subject in medical college demands from you an honest and a religious approach to it. So don't just study them for getting marks in it, don't just study them to get your entrance but move forward with them like a friend, laying your concepts like bricks one over the other because you, my friend, are yet to become such a great doctor, you don't have any idea. So I want to thank our sponsors for this video, Crayons. Crayons is the largest student peer learning community with 1,20,000 students in India and it is the only community fully driven by students. It's completely free to sign up on the platform and you can ask and get your doubts solved within minutes by the community. You can connect and chat with students from your university and all over the country from different colleges and universities. You can get genuine, trusted and verified notes. If you are a note creator, you can earn money by selling your own notes on crayons. So get a chance to become a certified note creator, doubt solver and earn a stipend using crayons. Don't miss out on this opportunity to be a part of the biggest community of students. The link is present in the description below. Go ahead and enjoy this platform.